Hello and welcome to getting started with auto equip. Uh, my name is Track1044 and I've made this mod for you. Uh, to start, there's three things you need to get this uh, mod to function properly, and that will be Skyrim, of course, and that will be SKSE at least 1.7. And it's gonna be Sky UI at least 4.0 plus. Um, this is the Sky UI thing is not because it's the dependency as such, but the MCM menu really drives this mod. So when you start up, uh, the game has a problem sometimes with initializing quests. So what you wanna do is make a new save and then load that save. Yeah, and go into market with just pick whatever and quit out again. That will make it uh, register faster. Yeah. So first things first, I suggest heading down to utility and storing your current armor and weapons. This makes it so after you set everything up, you can come in here and equip your default armor again. So general conditions. You enable or disable things you want to keep. Let's say I'm a mage, I want close quarters, and I also want out of combat. I want out of combat because I can have things like mage light and stuff like that on it. I decide the. Whoops, that was a slippy finger there. Um, you can adjust the stamina percentage, your health percentage, and your magic percentage. This decides when a low stat call is is going to be called. For example, my low magic is now going to be called at 35%. This is percent and 1 is 100% and 0 0.1 is 1%. <coughs> you can you can uh, choose when uh, an enemy is close or when an enemy is not close. By saying this really high, you will never trigger close quarters. Um, I I suggest around 480, 680, between there. That's good. Now the immunity system. Both of these systems are made to stop continuous re-equipping. Um, the immunity system um, makes sure that a call cannot be made until it has reached the. Th this threshold. For example, I get below 43% uh, magicka, I equip my low magicka, but I regen up above 0.43% uh, and I'll and it will keep doing that because I will use a spell, I will go below, I'll use and I'll go above, below, above, above and it will re-equip uh, all the time if I had not implemented the immunity system and the recharge system. So the immune system stops the call the second time. It will not. Let's say I hit 43% magicka. It will not recall magicka again until magicka has been above 0.80%. Oh, just 80%. The recharge system sustains the call. So when I hit 43%, it's gonna keep the call th uh, true until I hit 80%. I hope that's satisfactory. Um, equipment is where you store your equipment, weapons in this case, then armor, then crafting. Cooking set is, is for role playing and for most, I think. Uh, I don't think there's any sets that, uh, that that buffs cooking, but I left it in there because I thought maybe someone wanted it. Uh, I made this mod so it could revolve around how you play and not how I want you to play. Then there's options where you can choose quip with weapons drawn, auto equip in combat only, you can activate deactivate the crafting module. As I said, I want you to use this mod as you want. So you can you can even turn everything off for a moment if you do not want to play with it for some time or you can close it down entirely. This means if you do this, if you close it down for an installation, everything will stop um, and you will have to make a clean save and install it again for it to work. 
Um, by default, Ama Auto Equip is not on. I initially, when I made this mod, I I I didn't want armor to be in there because I felt it was immersion breaking that you could just unequip armor in combat like that. But once again, I wanted to be your experience. I don't want it to be my experience. So I've made it so you can have the weapon and the armor, and you can choose between them. And you can also deactivate the combat, combat module entirely if you only want the crafting module <coughs> and vice versa. Now the priority list, this is where you choose how this system works. Um, you choose, do I want Magicka to be the highest priority, do I want Close Quarter to be the next highest, do I want Health here, do I want Uncombat here, do I want No Combat there, you choose. Except there's one thing, and that is on combat is like a stop. Nothing uh, below on combat is never gonna be called. Never. This includes no combat. So if you want no combat stuff, like you could equip mage light and stuff like that, um, it's not gonna be equipped if on combat is higher. So remember that on combat it's like a stop. Nothing below it get called at all. <coughs> uh, utility again here armor stored. We just used that earlier. Then you can clear everything. I'm not gonna clear everything because I'm using this. Um, and there's this print debug information. Uh, I've made a video on that. So I'm not gonna touch on it. I'm just quickly gonna say that it's very useful for me to troubleshoot. So even if you do not watch that video, um, just know that this is important if you want me to troubleshoot your problem. Next we have stored armor where you can just see your armor, your cook set. Yeah, now I don't have anything. And there is one more thing. There is the o I'm just gonna I'm gonna rename that to override. I'll I'm gonna remove that spell. But what this does is is it allows you to override the entire system, and it allows you to do it dynamically. Let's say you're in combat against three mages, which are all using a different kind of magic, so your stamina and your magicka is being drained. You so, so you don't want the low stamina call. Then you just why can't I get out here? Is it? I think it is. Yep. Uh, you don't want that. So you just activate the override and you won't change weapons or armor. You're just gonna have on you what you have. It's... It's just an override to simply say uh, stop doing stuff I want to do things right now and is there anything else yeah I'm just gonna show you that it works by oh wow that's annoying uh, let's see let's equip this let's quit unequip this and use this instead unequip all this use that so now I look like this remember how I looked when I started there. There we go. And that small hiccup you saw is only when you come out of a menu. Um, this does not happen combat. But you can see that in the demonstration video and if you want more info on the debug, uh, I'm gonna upload one as well. So I hope this helped you and take care and have fun.